Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to LOSV Life of Steph. I want to say what's up to all my LOSV fam. Hey guys, how are you guys doing out there? And that is a serious question. How are you doing with the state of our country? How are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you handling what is going on? Um, as for me, how I'm handling it, I, tr I am truly sad i'm sad i'm heartbroken i am um i'm just emotionally drained like i literally cried this morning cried after looking at just numerous images on social media of people continually being attacked by just simply peacefully protesting. Um, just images of seeing police shoot out rubber bullets and pepper spraying people that is just standing there holding a sign or just standing there with their hands up. It's just heartbreaking. I'm confused. I am sad, angry, mad. I am, like I said, I'm heartbroken about, you know, rest in peace to George and the countless other men and women, black men and women that has been affected by police brutality. Um, I am just sitting here confused and hurt because I know I'm gonna have to explain this to my child. Um, how do you explain, how do you explain to an eight-year-old that is, my, my eight-year-old is an eight-year-old. Like, she is a kid kid. Like, I shelter her. I know I shouldn't shelter her so much. I know I shouldn't let her, like, I should let her see more and hear more, but I don't. I protect her so much from what's going on in this world, and I know that I have to start letting her see what's going on and really understanding what's going on like but i just don't even know how to begin to explain to her because i know that she's going to have so many questions that i don't even know how to answer i don't even know how to answer it for myself so how am i going to answer it for an eight-year-old that that is going to be more confused than i am um i just don't understand you know and um, it's like I really want to at sometimes at some points I do want to just unplug turn everything off shut everything down and just fully just not even think about it but how can you not think about it and it's like you can't really unplug because you have to know what's going on you have to know what's going on in your community you have to know what's going on around you you have to be aware you can't just be out here living up under a rock and not knowing like not knowing what's going on you have to know what's going on out here you have to be aware so it's like as bad as i do want to just turn it all off i can't and that's the reality some people can't just shut it all off because they're going through it they're personally affected by their family members getting gunned down and killed and <sighs> but that's another reason why i have not posted recently because i have just been really watching the news not so much as glued to the news but just really just seeing what's going on and it's just really having me it's really have had me feeling a certain type of way i have really been sad about it and i don't like that for my energy i really like to be a positive person i really like to look at everything with a positive light and i like to keep my energy positive around me and that just really made me sad. It's just a sad situation. Um, I just pray that something positive can come out of this. I pray that we can have some type of change. Um, I have... I have seen so many people say that they wasn't directly affected by it. So they're not affected by it. And I'm like, that's just not even... I mean, if you're human, you're affected by this. This affects everybody. No matter if you're black or not, it still affects everybody. Um, 
I just want to get on here and share my feelings share how I've been feeling and if you want to leave comments on how you have been feeling you can leave them down below um as far as how I feel about the you know I feel I feel like people should have the right to peacefully protest without being sprayed by rubber bullets and mace I feel like people should be able to peacefully protest um that's a law that's a law that we should we are allowed to do so i don't understand what it's all the violence being enticed by it seemed like he literally just gave the police the green light to continue to use extreme violence on peaceful protesters and you know i mean it's a and then like you know as far as the people riding and the people looting you know i mean there's really no playbook on how to riot or you know i mean like people are expressing their feelings now yeah you got the people that's just doing it just to be out there doing it like you know breaking into businesses and doing that just to do it just to have a reason to do it it's like they're trying to use this for an excuse to do that not talking about those people at all you know because a lot of the people that i am seeing peacefully protesting they're peacefully protesting um a lot of them is not breaking into buildings, vandalizing buildings, burning stuff down. A lot of them are not doing that. That's being done by other individuals. Um, all you have to do is watch the news really or get on social media. People are putting out information of what's really going on behind the scenes. So I'm gonna leave that at that. But I did just wanna come on and express my feelings of how I've been feeling and what I have been going through. And I'm just wondering how have everyone else been feeling. Um, you know, being a black woman with a black husband, with a black father, a black, a black, you know, black brothers and sisters, black men in my family, black, and they have a constant target on their back. And... I just it's just it's just stressful it's just stressful you know like if y'all know me y'all watch me y'all know that I talk about prayer all the time I pray every day all day I pray without season continuously and I pray continuously over my husband and I pray over my family as well you know I have a huge family I don't talk to a lot of my family members a lot, um, but I pray over all my family, especially the men in my family. I just pray for their protection and just pray that God can keep them covered. I wanted to come on and share my, I wanted to share what I was going through um, with my subscribers and you guys can also share your feelings about what how you feel about the situation as well with me um it's just crazy out here you know it's just crazy and i just i pray for everybody's safety out there if there's people that are on the front lines and out there protesting i pray for your safety you know um it's crazy but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I pray for change. I just pray that we can. I pray that our country could just get it right. <laughs> I pray that we can just do the right thing. Why is it so hard to be equal? Why is it so hard to ask for equality? Why is it so hard to ask? Why is it so hard? It's just... I'll see you guys in the next one.